Hello everybody, welcome back to another Squealing Pig Guitars demo. My name is Ben Keatley and today I'm going to be showing you this beautiful Fender Master Bill Greg Fessler 1963 Stratocaster in Graffiti Yellow Heavy Relic. Today we're going to be questioning whether Fender Master Bill is worth it or not. So strap yourselves in and let's hear some tones. Just to break down some basic specs, we basically have a 1960s kind of spec on this. So we have an older body. We've got a three ply pit guard, which is kind of what the 1960s uh, Strat is known for. So we have a 60s style oval C on this, which is one of my favorite Strat kind of shapes. It's a, it's a lot in the hand. It's quite a nice wide shape and very good for putting your thumb over the back of the neck and the, the, the fretboard edges on these are beautifully rolled like most custom shops. We basically have a rosewood fretboard um, which is that kind of uh, round lamb board, as we've mentioned in previous videos. It's kind of that um, veneer board rather than a slab board. We have a 12 inch fretboard radius on this. We've got the vintage style uh, Fender tuners. And as I said, it's a heavy relic finish all over. We have the uber cool Fender Master Built Custom Shop Traveler, where you basically get your certificate of authenticity along with Floor Traveler. The shop Floor Traveler is basically a spec sheet that travels around with the guitar as it's in the factory, basically. And as you can see there, it's signed by Mr. Greg Fessler, so we know it's definitely his guitar. The particular model was made on the 23rd of September 2022, and the serial number is R118080. It was made in Corona, California, where the Fender Custom Shop is based. We have some hand-wired 60 slash 63 um, single coils here, which are lovely aged to fit the rest of the guitar alongside the volume and tone controls, and just send a five-way switch. We've got an uber smooth six-point tremolo from Fender, and we've got what I really like is the clay dots here. Um, I know this guitar was originally from Anderton's um, here in the UK, and uh, I really like how they spec these particular 1960s uh, strats. The clay dots here are absolutely beautiful. Um, but yeah, enough talking about the specs. Let's hear some tones and then conclude whether this master bill is worth the money. Okay, so let's hear some distorted tones from this beautiful guitar. <laughs> Thank you.
guys, that brings us to the end of another video. I really hope you've enjoyed, and make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Um, what do you think about this master-built Fender Strat? Do you think it's worth it? Obviously, one of these guitars would go for about, you know, about seven grand brand new. So let us know in the comments section below, do you think it's worth it, or do you think Fender are charging too much? Um, but yeah, basically, I, from my thoughts anyway, I think it's a very nice balanced guitar. Um, the way the relicing is done is one of a kind, it's very art PC and it's very, very comfortable. It nails all them red hot chili pepper tones, Hendrix tones, you know, Stevie Ray Vaughan, all that type of stuff. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed playing this today. Uh, but I will see you in the next one. Make sure to subscribe and like, and I'll see you soon. Cheers guys.